now let us discuss here about r's complement and r minus 1's complement so here the complements are mainly useful in order to do the subtraction operation uh, so first one is r's complement the formula for the r's complement is r power small n minus capital n where r is radix value or base value small n specifies number of digits capital n specifies the given number whereas for r minus 1's complement the formula is r power n minus 1 minus capital n okay this r minus 1's complement can also be called as uh, diminished radix complement so diminished means reducing so here we are reducing with 1 okay so r minus uh, R's complement can be called as radix complement, whereas R minus 1's complement can be called as diminished, uh, diminished radix complement. Okay. So, radix complement, diminished radix complement. Here the formula is R power n minus 1 minus capital N. So, R means radix or base value, small n means number of digits, whereas capital N means the given number. Uh, we know that we have four types of number systems. So, they are uh, decimal number system, binary number system, octal number system, hexadecimal number system. Suppose for the decimal number system, R's complement means 10's complement. Whereas R minus 1 complement means 10 minus 1, 9's complement. For the binary system, R's complement means 2's complement. Whereas R minus 1 means 2 minus 1. 1's complement. For the octal number system, R's complement means 8's complement. Whereas R minus 1 complement means 7's complement. For the hexadecimal number system, R's complement means 16's complement. R minus 1 complement means 15's complement. So now let us solve these four examples based on the 9's complement, 10's complement, 1's and 2's, 7's and 8's. And the last one is 15s and 16s. Let us see the first problem. Find 9s and 10s complement of 4, 3, 2, base 10. Here the number system is what? Decimal number system. So for the decimal number system, we have to calculate the 9s and 10s complement. So first let us calculate 9s complement. So if you want to calculate 9s complement, then simply we have to subtract the given number from... Uh, from triple nine why because this is what nines complement so nines complement means we have to subtract the number from nines here the number contains how many digits three digits so that's why we have to subtract from triple uh, triple nine suppose if the number has four digits then we need to subtract from four nines okay so how to calculate here triple nine minus four three two so nines complement means the given number is subtracted from triple nine. Whereas if the number contains five digits, then we have to subtract from five nines like that. So nine minus two means seven. Nine minus three means six. Nine minus four means five. Or we can use the formula also. We can use the formula also. So for nines complement, what is the formula? What is the formula? R power for tens complement, the formula is R power n minus n. Whereas for the nines complement, we have to use the r minus 1 complement. What is the formula? r power n minus 1 minus n. Here what is r value? Base value. Here what is the base value? So this is a decimal number system. So base value is 10. So 10 power n. n means number of digits. So totally we have 3 digits. So 10 power 3 minus 1 minus the given number. What is the given number? What is 432? So 10 power 3 means... 1000, 1000 minus 1 means 999. So, 999 minus 432 means 567 only. So, by using this formula also, we can solve the problem. Now, let us see the second one. That is 10's complement. So, 10's complement formula is 9's complement plus 1. What is the formula for 10's complement? 10's complement formula is 9's complement plus 1. So, already we have calculated the 9's complement. So, what is the 9's complement? 567. So, 10's complement of 432 is 
So 9's complement is 567. So 567 plus 1 means 568. So this is the result. Now let us see the formula. So 10's complement means we have to use R's complement. For R's complement, what is the formula? R power n minus n. Here what is the base value? The base value is 10. So 10 power number of digits are 1, 2, 3. 3 digits. So 10 power 3 minus 10 power 3 minus n. What is the given number? 432. So 10 power 3 means 1000. 10 power 3 means 1000. So 1000 minus 432 is nothing but 568 only. 1000 minus 432 is nothing but 568 only. Okay. So by using the formula also we can solve the problems. Uh, for the remaining problems directly we are going to solve the problems without using the formula. Without using the formula directly solve the problems. If you don't use the formula then problem solving becomes quite easy. So what is the first problem is over. Now let us see the second problem. Find 1's and 2's complement of 10, 10, 10. So 1's complement means 1's are converted to zeros, zeros are converted to 1's. Here what is the number 10, 10, 10. So 1 will become 0, 0 will become 1, this 1 will become 0, 0 will become 1. So 1 will become 0, 0 will become 1. So 10, 10, 10, 10 will be converted to 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Next we need to calculate the 2's complement. If we use the formula then what will happen is so 1's complement means we have to use r minus 1's complement. What is the formula for r, r minus 1's complement? r power n minus 1 minus n. Here n is what? 10, 10, 10. This is what? Binary number. Whereas what is this r value? This r value is 2. So 2 power what is n? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2 power 6. 2 power 6 means we will get some value. Okay, that is, but that is decimal number. So what we have to do is, we have to convert this uh, binary number. We have to do the subtraction. So we have to convert that binary number into the decimal number. So number conversion is also necessary. So that's why if we use directly, then there is no need of any number conversion. Okay. So next, the formula for the 2's complement is, 2's complement is equal to 1's complement plus 1. Already 1's complement is calculated. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So simply we need to add 1. So 1 plus 1 means 0 with a carry 1. 0 plus 1 means 1. So 1, 0, 0, 1. So 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 is the 2's complement. So directly we are solving without uh, uh, applying the formula. If we apply the formula then we need to apply number conversion also. Okay. So we need to apply some more knowledge <laughs> in order to do the number conversion. So that's why I am directly solving the problems. Okay. Now let us see the third one. Find 7's and 8 complement of 461 base 8. 461 base 8. So 7's complement means simply we have to subtract 461 from 7777. Here 461 has 3 digits. So we have to subtract 461 one from 777. Okay. So 777 minus 461. 777 minus 461. Okay. 9's complement means we have to subtract from 999. 7's complement means we have to subtract from 777. Whereas 15 complement means we have to subtract from FFFs. Okay. 7 minus 1 means 6. 7 minus 6 means 1. 7 minus 4 means 3. So 3, 1, 6. So 3, 1, 6 is nothing but 7's complement of 461. Next, 8, 8 complement. The formula for the 8's complement is 7's complement plus 1. What is 7 complement? 316. So 316 plus 1 is nothing but 317. 317. If we use this formula, then what will happen is, here the number is in octal number system. Whereas R value, what is R value? What is R value? Base value. What is base value? 8. So 8 power, how many digits? 8 power 3. So we need to calculate 8 power 3 and 8 power 3 minus 1 and that will be in the decimal number system whereas the second number in the octal number system. So we need to convert octal, octal to decimal and we need to make the subtraction. Okay. So it is a lengthy process. So directly we can do like this. Okay. Now let us see the last problem that is find 15s and 16s complement of 4B916. So we know that 
uh, in a hexadecimal system after 9 we have uh, a b c d e f a means 10 b means 11 a means 10 b means 11 c means 12 d means 13 e means 14 f means 15 so what is 15's complement of 4b9 so we have to subtract from the maximum number that is 15 so 15 means f so we have to subtract from f here we have three digits so we have to subtract uh, 4b we have to subtract from what 4b9 from triple f so triple f minus 4b9 4b9 so what is f 15 f means 15 what is b b means 11 so 15 minus 9 means 6 15 minus 11 means 4 15 minus 11 means 4 next to 15 minus 4 means 11 so 11 means b 11 means b so 15 minus 9 means 16 15 minus 11 means 4 15 minus 4 means 11 11 means b so this is 15's complement so 16's complement means 15's complement plus 1 so the result will become b47 so in this way we can calculate a, a complement for any number okay so this is about r's complement and r minus 1's complement